What is up, Mouse Track Gang? Welcome back to another video, man. Beautiful sunny day. Look at that. It's supposed to rain later on, but we are actually going to resin the piece of wood right now, bright and early, because the sun is like beaming right now. So uh, I'm gonna resin one side first, let that cure, and then flip it around the other side and resin it again. I don't want to just resin it all together because it's going to be flipped over on our stands and I don't want it to uh, like rip the resin off of it. So we're just going to go ahead and just resin one side at a time, which is actually the right way to do it. And then after that, we're going to bed line it. Oh my God. Okay, so let's get to it. See what I'm talking about? If I go ahead and resin them both, then the, the, the side that's facing down wouldn't get the sun so it wouldn't cure right and then some of it would get stuck to the actual stand so we're just gonna go ahead and um, resin one side at a time and like I said it'll probably take a good 20 minutes for uh, each side to cure because the hot the sun is beaming right now so it's pretty hot so I uh, man like the small portion of MEK that I'm gonna put on it it should be good enough to just kick it into uh, drive and then with the sun, that's gonna give it that boost for it to cure even faster. But the actual thing about it is we gotta make sure that the bed liner uh, paint grabs onto that wood because it's actually made for metal. But we'll see what happens. We'll see exactly what happens. Although I have seen some people do it, but they do like that, the spray on one. But I think it should be all right. Yeah, so today is Monday. And so tomorrow we're gonna bedline it. Well, no, today we're gonna bedline it, and tomorrow we're gonna mount it down. And then we're just gonna go over our notes that we have, and just make sure everything's you know up to par. And then Wednesday morning, or maybe even tomorrow night, who knows? We'll see what happens. We'll go get wood. I know you guys are just like me right now, man. We want to see this box built. We want to see the box built. I'm I'm dying to see this box built, guys. No lie, I'm so ready for it. I'm used to, you know, just riding in the car, jamming some music. And, I mean, the stock radio in my truck sounds good, but, man, we need to be beating guys, like, straight up. Resin right here. I don't want to get my hands too sticky. So. And we're just going to layer. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do a little bit, not a lot, because we're just going to, like, paint it on there. It's not like we're going to lay down mat or anything. I was going to lay down mat, but I asked my, my pops if just the resin would do and he just said just make sure that you you know get a good amount on there so it does its thing what it's supposed to do so we're just gonna go ahead and uh do a little and bit so guess what i think we actually ran out of mek did you hear that so more than likely I gotta see what this is, but this is like a booster, I think. I don't even think this is MEKP. I think this is a booster. Let me check it quick, guys. Okay, we just got confirmation that this this is MEKP, and this is harder for the resin. So we're not gonna dump that much in it. Much we accidentally drop more than what I'm supposed to. Okay, that's it. That's all we need right there, guys. So now we're gonna get the stir sticks real quick. coverage that we don't leave no piece of uh, like wood exposed so 
Some people are like, I don't know if they just put the um, the truck boxes where they do them like that and just rhino line it but don't resin them. Resin them. I, I have to resin mine because since I don't have a tunnel cover, I just want to make sure and play it safe. But I, what I think what I'll end up doing is I'll do one layer right here like this. Well, I'm gonna try to put as much as I can from this batch onto the wood. And then before we flip it over and do the other side, we're gonna actually go ahead and do another layer. So there's two layers on it. So, but my dad said that as long as that we have good on there, you see like that, this, this coat right here is good. Because the wood's gonna soak it up, you see what I'm saying? So you still want to be able to bring it to the tower. And you still got to make sure you get these sides right here, man. Very important. Very, very important. The sun is extra hot out here today, so this is going to actually cure up pretty fast. No way. It somewhat almost even feels that the resin's already queuing up. Right there. Got to work fast. But you guys get the idea of what we're doing, man. So let me uh, finish up this real quick, and then I will pick up the camera and let you know what it looks like at the end. So I got the bucket where I was doing the resin at, and I don't have any cups. I thought I had some cups, but what I did is I just... Um, poured some acetone in it to um, kind of somewhat get it cleaned up and to leave the brush somewhat fresh so when we go and flip it over uh, we can just keep using that we don't have to waste anything else but as you can see look um, it don't have like that shiny color to it and when you uh, lay it down um, it'll leave like little globs and you just got to make sure you like spread those globs evenly because you don't want the uh, box to be risen and one side you want it to sit nice and flat although the bed liner stuff is going to be textured so but i mean i feel it should be okay um we don't want glob and then texture you know and then have it unbalanced we want to try to keep it as, as smooth as possible and we did the edges pretty good but once we flip it over uh, we can do the edges again uh, the other way so it'll, it'll grab it but so this is what's pretty much what we're looking for um before we actually throw the bed liner on it uh, like i said I actually left a piece of wood outside when I was doing one of the projects. And when I left that piece of wood outside and it rained, uh, man, the birch actually ate it faster than what the MDF did. You know what I'm saying? So I already know for a fact if any water were to get on this birch, man, that'd be it for it. Uh, rest in peace, man. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and give it like 30 minutes. What time is it right now? Look, it is 928. So we'll come back out here at 10 o'clock, flip it over and do the other side and give it another 30 minutes and then we'll start uh, laying the bed liner just to see how it looks um, and I think it should be ready to rock and roll so subscribe to the channel uh, this is our first step uh, on the sound system next we're going to build a box starting Wednesday guys so stay tuned for that subscribe it's pretty much good enough time to let it sit oh yeah look it's pretty good let's see like I, I tap it and my my finger is not sticky so that's it's good um, so it will not like if I flip it over it will not like um, stick to the stand so it, it's pretty good right now I like it okay hell yeah so pretty much that's what it looks like uh, after we resin it you see how it has like the shine on it that's when you know it's got the resin on it it's so pretty good pretty glad with it okay now we're gonna flip this guy over and we're gonna resin the other side all right so it's been like 30 40 minutes since the last time we uh, resin the uh, piece of wood Let's see what it's looking like. Let's touch it real quick. It's still tacky. But, oh yeah, look. It's tacky, but I feel it's not going to affect anything, so we can actually flip it over. All right, so the first side that we resined up, it is actually ready to get a uh, bed line. So I'm going to go to my truck and go get the bed liner real quick. Look at my cars. So I got the Trailblazer, the Cadillac, and the Silverado. We need to switch out the Cadillac, get a the white CTS V Sport, which is the V6, but with the twin turbos on it. We're gonna get a white one to match the white truck. 
Because hopefully, hopefully, come November time, we can put wheels on both of them. And I honestly am thinking of probably painting my truck white, man, just to have an all white fleet. But we'll see what happens along the way. So I, I really feel that I'm not gonna flat black it first. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the the bed liner and see what happens. For this stuff, I am actually gonna put on a rubber glove because I do not feel like getting paint on my hands. And like probably like in the next hour, we're actually gonna leave because it is Memorial Day today, and we're gonna go watch the that Sonic movie with these kids. Get them out the house for a little bit. Maybe acting crazy at times, but man, that's kids for you. So I don't know exactly how many cans are going to be used on this because we want a good layer and we want to make sure we get good coverage. So I got two of them. I got one upside down to make sure to bring the paint from the bottom up. I'm picking one up real quick. And we're going to see what happens right now. We're going to go ahead and spray it. Let me see how good this stuff works, man. So let's get on it. We're going to give it a light coat real quick. See what I do. By the way, this shit stinks. I'm not the best painter in the world, guys, so. We're just here to see how it grabs on this wood. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and then we're gonna come back and paint it again. Okay, so it says to recoat after one hour. So we're actually gonna give it a pretty good um, coat real quick and then we're gonna let it sit. I actually like the texture on this guy. This is pretty cool. Now I know when we actually do the actual panels in the back, um, this is just practice when we do the actual panels in the back, how they're going to look. It looks pretty good. Um, it does. You can see the, the strokes from the brush in it, but I would figure after it really dries and after another coat, pretty good. Um, it should cover it up. Like, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm looking at. But when we actually do the uh, fiberglass panels in the back and then um, sand them down somewhat smooth and then lay this on it, it should look pretty good. I actually like it. We'll paint these corners real quick good. It's really good guys, I like it. I like the texture on it, it's not too much and it's not too little. And one can can pretty much do the whole um, of this base. So at least I know it has a, you can, it surfaces a lot, like it's got a lot of coverage on it. Like see like right here I can see the paint strokes. But once we like build our fiberglass panels like I said and we smooth it out you won't see none of that. It would just be a nice smooth paint on it. But on the wood. It looks okay. It looks good. Okay, so this is the outcome of it. It was just a quick uh, like floor that we need so we can mount the box down to it because I think this is actually like 24 and the box is going to be like 23. So it's going to have a good enough space that um, the box can fit in there. Uh, but the box is going to be wider, wide, way wider than this. I think this is only 48. I think the box is like 56 or something like that by 23 or 24 or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, I love the uh, the texture on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Texture looks really good. It's not that much, not too little. It just lets you know that it's there. Um, I can tell you right now that the wood really does absorb the paint. I can look at it right now. Um, but with that layer of resin, it helps it not absorb it as much. And you can see it. And like I said, you can see streak lines from the paintbrush. Um, but so the box, now that we know we're going to have to resin it, pretty heavy and probably um, throw actual fiberglass mat on it which we're gonna have to 
And then we're gonna have to somewhat smooth it out pretty good because uh, we don't want um, some lines in it. Although it's gonna have panels and all kinds of stuff in it, but we need to make sure everything's tip top because we want that thing in the back to show quality, even when it's just with the bed liner stuff. What I'm gonna do just so I stock up and doesn't cost that much, I'm gonna go ahead and just start buying a lot of these cans. Um, I'm probably gonna need, I'm gonna buy at least like 15 of them maybe 20 just to have them on deck so we can get good coating on everything that we do in the bed of the truck man because they're gonna be like rather big large uh, panels so we really need good coverage on it and even just with that right there we didn't even use a quarter of the can it feels like and it had good coverage on it so pretty much like that whole panel right there's gonna take a half a can that depends if we let it dry for a little bit and then recoat it again to get it thicker and darker so we'll see what happens once it gets a really um, cured and I will let you guys know on tomorrow's video, man. So tomorrow's video, we're actually gonna mount this down and go over a lot of the stuff with the truck once again. And then after that, Wednesday morning, we are going to buy wood and get started on the box, man. So subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. These videos are about to get lit, man. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good day, it's Memorial Day, man. Enjoy the day with your family and everything. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man, peace.